We are rejoined by one of the most entertaining wrestlers you're going to see in the ring tonight is Benoit Gravel coming to us by way of Quebec, by way of Nova Scotia. Originally Quebec. See a lot of this guy if you're a fan of the Nova Scotia wrestling scene. He's seen this guy compete all over the place. He's the crest punk. He is the hacky sap, slack lining daredevil himself. We got Benoit Gravel. I once saw this man do a handstand in which he also kicked Papa Swayze in the face. It was absolutely incredible stuff. My little brother, you love to see him. And he's been winning over some of the fans, but you know, not a lot of them. <laughs> but he's definitely getting a reaction every time he comes out. And he's also a man who does a standing moonsault that has just been hit exquisitely. I saw that last month against uh, Slick McGrick. And he's got a, a very big arsenal of high-flying moves. I'm cur very curious to see. Oh. Yes, brother. I'm going to have to go to the Webster's Encyclopedia of Wrestling Moves to be able to call some of the things I feel like we're about to see. This is going to be incredible. We got Fantana. We got Fantana in the ring with a Benoit Gravel right now. So this, I've just been thinking to myself right now, how am I gonna prepare to call this match? Cause I'm gonna have to talk faster than I've ever talked in my life. A huge number of Fantana fans in attendance here tonight. Several luchador masks can be visibly seen in the audience. And Fantana coming in 150 pounds, five foot five, hailing out of Moncton. Master of the moonsault, master of the 450 splash. Man, he's had multiple WWE tryouts. One of the first NBWA tag team champions here in CCW with an incredible acrobatic, tumbling background. He's matching up with Benoit Gravel right now, who goes for a fast boot, fast big boot, looking to end this quick. But you're not going to out quickness a fresh Fantana. Fantana comes in, looks like he was diving, trying to maybe grab a leg, but then Juan Gravel just over the top, catches Fantana looking at a fan. Fantana catches his leg, sends him over, backflip counter, and monkey flip, monkey flip by Gravel on Fantana, but Fantana lands up on his feet. This is gonna be play by play at its finest. Benoit Gravel gets in front of Fantana. Fantana. Fantana's off the ropes. We've got a leap run by Gravel. We got a cartwheel over by Fantana. Benoit goes off the ropes, holds the ropes, doesn't get tripped by Fantana, goes in, scoops him, gets for a pin, locks in the legs. Fantana shoots back in, scoops over, goes for a crucifix, pulls him back down on the mat. Benoit Gravel in the mode, comes back in, goes for a clothesline, misses it. Fantana going for a backslide, pulls him down, drags him back down to the mat. Gravel rolls through, rolls right out. Jumps over, sunset flip by Benoit Gravel. It's gonna be a quick two count. Fantana counters, gets over the top, does a flippity do, they do another pin of his own. It's gonna be a quick two count right there. Both men, a little bit of separation in there, a little hesitation before going in. Uh, Benoit chases Fantana in the corner, gets go over. Benoit monkey flips himself over the top. Fantana comes in, eats a shot in the back after missing the big splash. Benoit calls the shot, he's going off the top. Rope, hits the rope, comes back in, goes for the halluva kick. Doesn't quite get it, Fantana. Hits reciprocates the shot in the back that he just took from Benoit Gravel. Benoit Gravel picks him up for a sidewalk slam, gets a tilt to whirl Hurricane Rana uh, looking thing. All of a sudden sends Benoit to the corner. Fantana creates a little bit of distance. Comes in, jumps over the top rope. It's a splash! Good a half turn twist splash into Benoit Gravel. Gets a quick two count right there. Yeah! Take your moment. Give me mine. Oh my god. This is the this is exactly the contest that I was expecting right now. Hopefully, we're going to see this pace slow down a little bit. Fantana's taking control, but the counters are going to come out of nowhere, and they are going to be extravagant, to say the least. That's not a word that you get to throw around a lot when you're watching a wrestling match. Uh, Benoit reverses a whip, drags Fantana into the corner, and just gives him the kitchen sink knee, and a standing moonsault on Fantana. Benoit's coming in, six foot one, 185 pounds, so he has a roughly 35 pound weight advantage against Fantana. So there's moonsaults and maneuvers like that. We saw it right there, they're gonna hurt a little bit more. And then we also saw Benoit able to drag Fantana into the corner and still hang on to him and follow him in so that he could do it again. So particularly vicious form of that Irish whip. Benoit, he's got a little bit of separation right there. He's gotta be thinking of following this up because Fantana can recover 
way faster than Benoit was expecting. Benoit gets kicked in the gut, now he's eating some chops from Fantana. He's gonna use that weight advantage, he's muscle him back. Benoit, not a little man, but he's not someone who employs his, a strength or size advantage often. But he's gonna have to here, because it's gonna be his best weapon against Fantana, who I gotta believe is gonna be able to out-tumble him. And that's not something that happens to Benoit very often. He hasn't been in this situation where he has a quicker, more explosive, higher jumping, faster moving athlete. He's, he's used to being that guy in the match. Fantana throws a huge kick for Benoit's face. Follows it up with a second one. Benoit blocks it, puts down Fantana. Looks like he's thinking submission. Wow. I hope Razor Mouth Productions in perfect position. You can see that triangle leg lock, locked in right there. He's got to follow it up with an abdominal stretch. And then he slides back into that pinfall. It's going to be just a two count. He's got to get up on his feet before Fantana. You can't let Fantana get back up. Boom! Boom! Size advantage, Benoit. That hurt. We felt that one all the way over here. A couple elbows just to continue the punishment on Fantana to stop that recuperation. Sends Fantana in. I think he was looking for a hard buckle, didn't quite get it. Fantana gets the boot up, hits Benoit in the chin, counters up. We got a Hurricane Rana sends Benoit into the second rope. Benoit's in the second rope right now. Could be thinking 506. Hits it. No defense left for Benoit Gravel. Uh, Fantana, oh my god, I thought Benoit was going to be stuck in the other side. Uh, on the second rope on the other side of the ring, he's gonna eat another one, but he gets a tackle right in the gut by Fantana, and then a vicious Insiguri lands perfectly placed. Benoit is down. Is Fantana gonna call his shot? We've seen this before, he called his shot, and then we got a handstand drop kick into the finale with that beautiful, perfectly executed moonsault. Look for the, look to the hand of Fantana. Bullseye, let's see what we got. Big run in, goes all the way up, boom, drop kick, hits perfectly on the solar plexus of Benoit Gravel. And he's got nowhere to go, Fantana's gonna drag him out. Sometimes he goes for the pinfall right here, sometimes he follows up with Moonsault. Sees the look of anguish on Benoit's eyes, decides to follow it up, Benoit's gonna kick out at two, but he's in no man land, he's in the landing zone right now. There you can see Fantana's position, and we've seen this multiple times. This fan, we are ready to see more high-flying action. This has very often been the end. Fantana landing this maneuver twice just to make sure last month when he ended his defeated streak and Benoit, maybe he was baiting him in. You know what, Benoit baited in Slick McGrick into a similar situation last month with Slick McGrick's majestic top rope elbow. <coughs> and then we got a Fantana countering, sends Benoit down to the second rope on the other side of the ring. I think we're gonna get another 5.06 unless Benoit's gonna be able to block it this time. Didn't want to feel it again, he had it scouted. Benoit ducks over, comes and tries to counter or take back control with a clothesline. Doesn't get it. Fantana goes for a back body drop. Doesn't get it. Benoit flips out. And we got a vertebra. We got a backbreaker there. And Benoit taking control of the dome of Fantana. This time Benoit's calling the shot. He's gonna finish Fantana. We got a this is gonna be a Falcon Arrow. I think there was a little love on that. There's a bit of a leg lock put in right there. Fantana. Benoit in disbelief. He put Fantana down right next to the ropes. He can't do that with a veteran like Fantana. Get, don't spend your time arguing with the referee. Pull him out and do it again, big shot. You hate to see that kind of desperation, but this is deep water for Benoit. He's not used to having an opponent who can reciprocate his high-flying abilities like this. And I think it has, he's lost a piece of his soul trying to uh, use the power advantage, but goes, looks like he was thinking he's gonna do exactly what I said, he was gonna do it again. Fantana blocked him with some shots. And he rolls him up out of it, he counters, hooks the leg and gets him out of nowhere. That was unbelievable. He, he took a little bit too much time, he was arguing with the referee, he was mad. Not, not an incredible left of time, but by the time he got Fantana back, he hooked him up with that exact same move again. Fantana had that digestion time, and he knew exactly what he was going to do about it. Got a show of respect here by the Maritime Luchador Fantana, checking out on TikTok at Maritime Luchador, saying, line in the sand, much respect, brother. And both these guys deserve an absolute standing ovation for that match. That was some of the best high-flying, spectacular, 
speed wrestling we have seen here ever in CCW. I would love to see a rematch of these two again next month. That would be another, that would be a dream match to call. Now that they've had some time to work with each other, to try to battle it out, a little bit of scouting time. If they both went home and went to the tape, I, man, the match that we could have next month with these two would be absolutely mind blowing. Santana giving a little love back to all the fans. This is a luchador who was on a bit of a losing streak the last few months, but he turned it around last month. And it's great to see the winning streak and the successes of someone as dedicated who can, who will, who must compete. That is Santana, that is the mantra. And just absolutely spectacular to see him continue, to have that continued success here. And maybe we can see some big things like another little bit of gold maybe coming down the pipes for Santana. And I just, you'd love to see it. Absolutely heartfelt moment here. Giving a few more high fives out to the fans that are running the edge. Wow! That one gravel! You brought the fire! You brought the kicks! You brought the flips! But I can! I will! I must! One down! One to go! Santana's quick. Santana is fast. Turns out Santana is good. He's really good. Like, I thought I was good. I'm, I'm pretty good. But like, Santana is good. That's motivation. You know, that makes me want to drive it a little harder. I love doing kicks and flips out here. It's so nice coming out here. Like, I even, I even rank the same. Like, I'm, I'm looking better and feeling like. CCW. I love CCW. I'm sorry if I get a little bit out. Shucks. Me too. Me too. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I see you. Kicks and flips. Tanny here with Fantana. Another victory. Another one. 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 Oh, that guy can kick and he can flip, let me tell you. But there's only one man that can. There's only one man that will. There's only one man that must. And that's me, the Maritime Luchador Fantana. It's, you know, it's real simple these days. A lot of people ask me, Fantana, where do you go from here? Well, it's simple, people. And it's simple to anyone who's asked me. Gold. Isn't that what we're all here for? We want to have that championship title. We want to have that big trophy. River Valley Championship. Slick McGrip. I'm coming. I'm coming fast. I'm coming hard. And I'm coming quicker than ever. So be prepared, Slick McGrip. We're going down a bumpy road. And I'm coming for something that you have that I must have. That is a match to remember. I'll see you soon, Slick. As for Benoit Gravel, keep doing your kicks, keep doing your flips. You may after tonight want to have a couple sips. One thing's for sure, Fantana is victorious.